I'll show you how I build the famous waterfall effect using a phaser. Importantly, because this example combines multiple attributes and along the way we'll look at measure, transition and width in the phase layer. For this demonstration, I will be in the MA simple show file and I'm going to use the absolute layer, but you could absolutely see what I did there. Recreate this on the relative layer in your own show file as well. I do have my readout set to natural because that's how my brain works out the math. I have also prepared my dimmer presets for full and zero and I built tilt presets for negative 90 and 50, 50. I will prefix this by saying I have noticed sometimes totally dependent on fixture type that depending on how hard you push the speed of this phaser, the tilt attribute may not always keep up with the previs in real life. The first step for me is usually making sure I have the phaser sheet view available. It's across the top of the title bar if you're looking for it. I prefer this view and you may see it again in other phaser examples. I like how I can change the values here. In step one, I need the dimmer set to 100% and I'm adding the 50-50 preset to get a nominal tilt value. That preset also has a default pan value. So I'm switching off the pan attribute because I don't want that attribute to linger in my phaser while I'm not using it. Now that's done, I'll create a second step. And of course, MA next gets me into my second step. I'm adding the tilt preset to get the fixtures at 90 degrees. And finally, the dimmer preset for out. I need to adjust some of the phaser attributes for these steps to make the magic happen. One thing to keep in mind now is you want to adjust the phase value for the current attribute. And this is why I wanted to show you an example of building phases with multiple attributes. If you have the dimmer feature group selected, you're adjusting values related to the dimmer, not the dimmer and the tilt. In this phase particularly, there are some steps where attributes require different values and some will need the same value. Measure gets used together with the speed layer and it defines the length of time for a phaser. I will go into lots of detail about the measure feature in the episode about beats per minute. For now, I'm setting the measure at one for both steps and both attributes. I can use the select all steps to help. As for the speed, it's coming down to 30 beats per minute. I think it's a good place to start. Now going back to step one, I need to apply a width of 160% for the tilt, but only the tilt. Moving on to step two, there are just a few things left here to tweak. This time, that width of 160% gets added to the dimmer and give the dimmer a 15% transition while I'm here. Now, when I come out of single step mode, it should look like this. Let me explain a little bit about what's going on here. The width is used as an offset to the crossover point between the steps. It's helped by the transition to get that gentle fade at the end. It also helps the tilt get back up to 90 degrees before starting the next phase cycle. That 15% transition in step one is pulling the dimmer value low, closer to the crossover point again, but not so steep that it's abruptly cutting off the dimmer at the low end. So make sure you save this one. I've built it with presets, so if you want to use it with other lights in the future, you can. Just make sure you update your presets using the right preset modes.